If you want to edit on your 2 or 4 GB RAM laptop, or if you're a beginner and don't know which software is best for editing, then today's video is just for you. Because in today's video, I will provide you with a light version of Adobe Premiere Pro that you can easily use on your low-end PC. But before that, if you're a beginner, let's learn a little about Adobe Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is a high-end video editing software with several variants available in the market. And if we talk about its official system requirements, they look something like this. And its download size is also around 8 GB. But in today's video, I will provide you with a light version of this software, which will be just around 1 GB in size, and you will be able to use it easily. So let's start the video. Let's roll. First, you need to download all these zip files. Downloading all of them is compulsory. Otherwise, you may encounter an error during extraction. Simply right-click on the zip file and choose Extract here. If it asks for a password here, I'll just enter the password. After extraction is complete, you will have a folder on your desktop that you need to open. Here, you will find a setup file that you need to launch. Now you need to choose the language and location, then click on the Continue button, and your installation will start. It may take some time to complete. So guys, here we have successfully installed Adobe Premiere Pro. And now I will record the rest of the process with a hand cam so that you can see everything clearly. After the installation is complete, you need to go to the Start menu and launch Premiere Pro from there. When you launch it for the first time, it will take a little while to start, around 5 to 6 minutes. Alright, Premiere Pro has successfully launched. Now, you need to go to the top menu and click on the File option. Then choose the New Projects option. After that, you need to type the project name here and click OK. As soon as you click, a new project will open. You will see many options here, but for now, let me explain the basic options to you. At the bottom, you will see the Import option. Simply click on it and import the video you want to edit. Once the video is successfully imported, you need to drag and drop it onto the main timeline. Now, all the editing you do will be done right here on this timeline. Besides that, you will find options for effects, color grading, and many more. Whatever effect you want to add, you simply need to drag and drop it onto the video. Here's a tip. I'll give you another one. Don't add more than two or three effects. If you only have 2 GB of RAM, otherwise, it will lag. And there are many more options, but covering them all in one video isn't possible. If you suggest, I can make a dedicated video on it, similar to how I made on the shortcut video editor. Overall, it's a very good video editor, especially if you want to do advanced level video editing, it's the best for you. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you haven't followed me on Facebook or Instagram yet, do it quickly because I regularly post exclusive content there that I don't post on YouTube. You can also check out these videos. They might be of some help to you. 